Hey, what's up everyone? Back here with a, another mail day video. Got a bunch of different stuff here. This stuff actually came from a pretty massive buying splurge that I went on. Get in there. So this should be pretty much the end. I'm just waiting on a couple more cards, but these are things that have come in over the past week. Decided to save everything up for one video to shoot it all at one time got here a clearly Don Russ Justin Herbert it's a SGC 95 like I said before I love these clearly Don Russ cards paid $41 and 71 cents there may be a couple others in here but I know I've ordered others and there may be one on the way so like I said it's a 95 41 71 I paid for this one 95 as you can see let me get you a little closer here why it didn't 10 you can see it's chunkier on the border there I'd imagine everything else is pretty perfect with the card top to bottom looks fine but yeah it's a little bit chunkier on the right hand side there that's just me though it for some reason and I was trying to grab a bunch of these burrows as well and for some reason, the Herberts were a lot more you know, prevalent or out there in the market more so than the Burrows. I got one Burrow. I'm not sure if it's in this mail day here, if I opened it already in, in my previous video. But this next one here, we've got a Optic Lamello Rookie. Paid a little bit more than what it's going for now because... This one I paid 101.23 for total. That's GC10. Here you go. I saw some auctions that ended after this one. I hit a buy it now on this one. The market was a little higher when I hit the buy it now. So at the time I was getting a deal on it, but then the market kind of softened a bit where I saw some sell for about 70, 75 before taxes and shipping. So maybe a better deal could have been had, but that's how it goes sometimes. Next one, paid $154.84. Market seems to be right around this range. Maybe about 10 bucks cheaper right now. Lamello Prism, SGC 10, rookie. There you go. Yeah, super clean, super great centering on this card. I picked up several of those. Next up, we've got, ah, here we go. It's actually the Burrow, clearly Don Rust I was talking about. These are hard to find. They've got the Clear Visions, plenty of those for sale. But the Clearly Don Russ themselves, the Rated Rookie version, been difficult to find. So this one's a 9.5, 47.10 paid for this one. Nice looking card, much like the Burrow. Always gotta love the acetate. A little bit thicker on this side. I don't know if that would be enough to warrant it getting bumped down to a 9.5. The Herbert look a little bit more chunky on the right border than this one looks on the left border. Ooh, <laughs> maybe we'll save this one for kind of one of the end ones. This is a really nice card that I like there. What I got here is a speculative play for 2022. It is a PSA 10 Chrome of a rookie that perhaps will be getting the spotlight or will get his chance to show or for us to see if he's ready to be the guy in San Francisco for the Giants. Catcher with Buster Posey retiring. What's his name? PSA 10, 2019 Bowman Chrome Prospects. Joey Bart. Again, I paid $43.63 for that one. What's the upside on that? Who knows? But if you're looking to hold, he's supposedly next man up. So we'll see. Next up, we've got another Lamello. This one I paid about the same as the other one. $161.39 for this one. Shipping and tax. So that's total. Again, super clean copy. This one I can say, though, maybe the, the other one was perfect centering. This one, slightly thinner over here. So obviously still within SGC standards but I can tell visually that it's off just a little bit relative to the other one. You know what? Let's grab the other one. Okay, so this is the one I showed earlier. I'll try to get these side by side. This is the one from earlier, and this is the one from just now. 
I guess with my mug being in the way, maybe I'm not going to be able to show you. To me, this one looks a little, let's move this up a little bit more if we can. This one looks a little thinner over here, just slightly. And this one here on my left seems to be pretty perfect, 50-50. You probably couldn't tell from there. So you're like, all right, shut up, get on with the next one. <laughs> we'll save that one for closer to the end as well. So here we've got another clearly Don Russ Herbert 9.5. This one I paid a little more for. This one was $58.14 total. Again, 9.5. Same as the last one. A little bit chunkier on this border. I'll have to take a look at the raw copies I have. Plus I have a couple other graded ones. Just to see how the centering is relatively. You know, do they more often come like that. Clearly Don Russ, centering could be an issue, but obviously more of a concern is the print lines and everything like that, if you've ever seen the product. All right, so again, we'll save that one. Oh, <laughs> he wrapped this up in a nice box to where you would think it was something great, but this one just has a bunch of low-end stuff in it. Probably stuff not even worth showing on camera, but we're shooting, so we're gonna do it anyway. This one, I got five cards. They're all CSG 9.5. So five rookie cards. I paid a total of $34.39 CSG. These here are all kind of low-end plays. Let me see what this one is real quick. It's another Lamello Prism rookie. All right, so like I said, we got some low-end 9.5s here. Some stuff that's really fallen off. Mosaic 9.5, Brandon Clark. And an orange reactive debut, Brandon Clark. See, centering was a nine on both of those. PJ Washington, Brittany Renner, still in my heart, baby. Nine on corners on this one, nine five overall. Just trying to look at the corners and see if I see anything there. Maybe like a slight little ding on one of the corners. The first, a Boma Crow Mega Box, Luis Urias. Picked this one up because. I saw him play several times when he was playing for Lake Elsinore and A-Ball for the Padres. So I got a few of his stuff and some of his rookie cards as well. And then the final one, I picked up a Mike Soroka. Purple, it's not a first, but I thought it was a sexy card. Again, all of these cards were 34 and some change total. The most I paid for any one card was the PJ Washington, which I paid about nine fifty for. We got this other Lamello here. I want to see another one. That's a third of the same card. Who wants to see another one? <laughs> this one was about the same price as the others, a little bit cheaper maybe. I stopped buying these. The market kind of got a little overheated on them, but this one's one hundred fifty-six dollars and twenty-four cents. And we'll see how the centering is relative to those other two. 156 and some change on this one. Centering looks as good as the first one. Pretty perfect. Oh, and look, made sure to throw a 175 price tag on there. <laughs> what is that? Manufactured suggested retail. So both of these two are Justin Herbert. Let's start with this one first. It's a little bit lower cost. All right, so this one here coming out is an SGC 9.5 paid $76 and 50 cents. It's a select 2020 red, but a little something in there that, you know, we'll see. It's probably nothing special, but I like how the card looked. I thought it was sexy as fuck. <laughs> Clean up the, looks like the case has a little bit of a scuff on it. Swatch red prism. Eh, swatch is cool. Eh, I mean, I got it more because it was a red prism. You know how it is with the swatches. You know what it says here. The enclosed authentic memorabilia is not from any game or event. So take that for what it's worth. But again, I, I like the card myself just because of the red prism. And the price point was right on that when I won that one on auction. Now this is the final one here. This is the most expensive one. It's a Herbert Optic. Paid $228.91 for this one. As sexy as that red prism is over there, I like this one better. So I went a little bit higher on this one. Oh, he's got a business card in there, so let's get that out of here. 
9.5. Pardon me, I'm just admiring the card. Hollow Prism. Looks like it's a little bit thicker on the border here, but centering looks really solid. Yeah, so like I said, that's what 200 and... 28 bucks ish will get you. So the Herbert, sexy. Love the card. Unfortunately, you know, situations being what they are regarding timeouts and everything. Recording this video on January 11th. So it'll probably be up in a week or so. But yeah, I like this card. I won this at auction. Like I said, I was trying to get a blue scope as well, but that one went out of my price range. So settled on this one only. Didn't get both. So that's the mail day, everybody. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody, and be well.